Hey all, Steve Guitarney here. Got a real quick tip on setting pickup height for humbuckers. On uh, well, it could be you know whatever humbucker style guitar you got. And what I have here is an American nickel and an American dime. These together measure total thickness of about 0.115 inches. Not sure what that is in millimeters, but if you ask the Google, I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll, you'll get a result. And to my eye, it's roughly an eighth of an inch. In fact, well, if you think about it, it's like 10 thou less than an inch, which is the thickness of an E string, a regular set of tens. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a gauge to set my pickup height. Now, to be fair, I do this by eye, but I want to show you how ridiculously simple this can be to use some pocket change to get the job done. And just until it starts to sizzle. <laughs> okay. And so I was just adjusting the, the treble side of that, that bridge pickup. And I'll do the same on the, the bass side. Now, now, keep in mind, like I had the pickups in the ballpark. This makes things a little bit simpler, right? A little easier to get, get to. See, they're starting to flop around. Of course, the, uh, the the pole pieces will have something to do with it. The angle of the pickup will have something to do with it. Um, you know, you, you like a, a, a Gibson SG. The, 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 the pickups tend to be like, because the neck angle is so acute, the pickup angles tend to be acute as well. So you want to, you know, get around interference, etc., etc. And you know you pick your pick your battle. The lowest point or the finest point, the, the the finest space between the strings and the pickup. That's your limit. That's your limiter right there. Anyway, I'm gonna call that done. Okay. And now with this with this uh, deck pickup, as I as I just previously previously mentioned, the this is on a bit of an angle, which is typical of uh, semi-acoustic and, and uh, um, uh, semi-hollows and stuff like that. The the neck, the, especially, especially the neck pickup, can be a little a little wonky, and you know sometimes we want to put um, corrections in there to get it to sit more flush. It's visual; it doesn't really affect the sound so much, but you know it is what it is. Anyway, on this pickup here, the um, uh, you know the, the 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 edge towards the middle between the pickups. This edge here, this back edge, is higher than than uh, you know the the bobbin or the uh, screw side. So anyway, this is my this is my uh, tolerance point here. Yeah. Okay, right there and likewise on the treble side easy peasy now I know for a fact of course I could go back and, and double check everything but I know for a fact that these pickups are set to a minimal distance of whatever this is which is 100.115 inches uh, slightly less than a, a quarter of, in, uh, of an inch. Now, is does this mean the job is done? Not necessarily, because one pickup might be a little hotter or might have a, a more more of this or that compared to the other one. You want to uh, listen and and then temper what you're hearing by adjusting the screws evenly on. Whichever pickup seems to be offending, 
and because you always EQ from a negative point of view, take away the harsh frequencies. My buddy Doug Smith from Hamilton, uh, I asked him one time, I said, how do you do that? How do you, like, cause he's a sound guy. How do you do that? How do you make it sound so good? He says, no harsh frequencies guy, you know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's the way it is. Anyway, uh, so take away whatever is too much. And that's kind of the name of the game. So anyway, uh, this should be, and if I just eyeball this really quickly, <laughs> that is perfect. It's perfect. Okay. So we have equal spaces underneath the pickups from both from there. You can, uh, balance it, uh, the, a, a clearer, um, cleaner signal will will happen when you drop the pickup in the further away the pickup is the cleaner clearer the sound is because uh, pickups that are, are close to the strings just drive they 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 the the they're um uh the magnetic field is saturating the strings they're picking up like all kinds of content right so when you dump them in a little bit it changes the magnetic or the, the how the strings are within the magnetic field and it changes your tone it changes your output dramatically experiment with that have fun with it see what works for you you can take two totally different kinds of pickups and if you if you dial them in just right you can get a really really nice balance you know anyway done it a thousand times and uh anyway this is uh how it's done or at least one way anyway uh thanks a bunch and thanks for coming out like and subscribe have a great day bye